It's time to work on the traditional blocks for our quilt. Hey Kimberbell friends, Kristen Som here and today we are going to start on the traditional blocks. So the traditional blocks are the pinwheels and the flying geese. We'll do the flying geese tomorrow, but today we're going to start on the traditional blocks. So I already finished mine and I'm really happy with how they came out. And so I've got several tips for you, some tricks that I, um, that I did and I, it worked really well. I'm very, very happy with them. So a couple of things. We are going to use the white with black dot fabric and that is our pinwheel A in, in our guide. So pinwheel A is the white with black dots and then we also have the purple with green dots and the black with orange dots. So on all of them, it's three and a half by three and a half that you're gonna start with. So three and a half by three and a half on all of these three fabrics. So of the white with the black dots, you can see we need more of those. For each pinwheel, we're going to need two of the white with black dots, each pinwheel. So that means a total of six pieces of the white with black dots in three and a half by three and a half. And then for the black with orange dots, we need two of the three and a half by three and a half. And then for the two pinwheels with the purple and orange dots, I'm sorry, orange green, purple with green dots, we're gonna have those also be three and a half by three and a half. And since we need them for two pinwheels, we need four of those. So four pieces of the purple with green dots and in cut size three and a half by three and a half. All right, so that's what you need today. And then I'll go over all the specifics with photos, but a couple of the tips that I wanna point out is I did back each of my fabrics with fusible stabilizer. I know traditionally you don't, and um, that's fine. I didn't do it on uh, my first quilt. I think I didn't even do it on Broomhilda. I don't remember, um, but I did do it for, um, uh, the one we just did, Vintage Boardwalk, I did not do it for Love Notes. And so what I found out is that when I don't um, back them with fusible stabilizer, they shrink, they shrink a lot. And um, that ended up being a problem for me. So what I ended up doing for Love Notes is after it was all cut out to the size that I need, after it was all completed, after the block was completed, what I did is I cut out a piece of fusible stabilizer to exactly the size that I needed. Um, for these, the final cut size is four and a half by four and a half. So I cut a piece of fusible stabilizer, four and a half by four and a half, and I put it on the back of the completed block. And what that did is it gave me my seam allowance because if I had, um, sewn them together with the quarter inch seam allowance with my block already being smaller, then it it wouldn't have fit right with the whole quilt, right? When we're piecing it all together, we want everything to fit right. So we really want this final block to be four and a half by four and a half. So that was my fix on Love Notes, but on Vintage Boardwalk and on this one, I went ahead and I fused the back of each piece of the fabrics and it just made it so that it doesn't shrink as much. It doesn't pull. So all of the stitching, cause we, I did quilt them. You can see the chevron on here and it just made it so that that's not pulling all of my stitches on this little fabric. Instead, it, my fabric was so well stabilized with the uh, fusible stabilizer on it that it made it so that it's not pulling, it's not shrinking. And it still made it very easy to sew all the pieces together. Um, I'll show you photos of um, the whole process, but you can see that as I sewed each of the, the little, cause you take the little blocks and you sew them all together. And it does make um, a, a hard part in the center, but that happens with regular fabric that's not fused as well. So um, either way you're gonna have that. And you can see, I don't have like a hump or anything in the middle. 
it really they these worked out so well and i'm so happy with them so and i still have my quarter inch seam allowance and i quilted it and it's four and a half by four and a half so i didn't do the final step but it says to square your block to four and a half by four and a half mine already were four and a half by four and a half it does they don't get <laughs> bigger <laughs> what i have found in the past is they just get smaller and then they're not quite the right size that you need them to be so that's my biggest tip is i did do what works for you but i did few um stabilizer fusible mesh stabilizer on the back of each of my fabrics for for this before putting it all together um, and like i said you can do it after the fact if it turns out that your your block is a little bit smaller than it needs to be that's another fix um, so that's one thing Another big thing that I did, um, I'll have to show you more in pictures because my block is already together, but when you are, are putting the two pieces together and then you do the two, so you do all of the little piece of four, you have four all together and then you break it down to two and two. And when I did that, when I sewed them together, I sewed them starting from the center down and then again, and then take it out and then from the center up. So starting from the center because what i found is that when i just do a straight line um, a straight stitch all the way down that it's moving too much even if i pin it 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 just moves too much because of that center hump it kind of make it pulls it in it makes it want to move so what i did is starting from the center um stitch straight down and then center and i turned it over and then stitched it straight so it just made it so that there was a little bit less hump, a little less bulk in the middle, and also there was just no movement. So I didn't even like, I don't know if you're like me, but when you do these traditional blocks, it's pretty stressful because you're trying to line it up just right and everything. And um, I didn't have to do any of that, really. I just centered it all stitched it and they came out pretty great i'm pretty happy with all of them so um two of the blocks are going to have chevron the black and orange and the purple and green um, both have chevron in horizontal four by four and then one of the blocks i think it was halloween four nope halloween three sorry halloween three the one with the witch and the scrolls and the stars um, on one of the blocks that is the purple with green dots. So you put all, you do all the parts of getting all the pieces together, get your final block, and then you quilt it. And so you're going to need batting. So for your batting, the final cut size on this is four and a half by four and a half. So I used a piece of batting that's five by five. And that works just so great. I'm really happy with these. Very, very happy with my, my pinwheel blocks. So um, do what works for you, but those are a couple little tips. Um, as you can see, I did one of the blocks, the Halloween three with um, green thread for the quilting and also the, the chevron with the purple and green dots. I did in green thread from our, um, from our thread kit. And then um, on this one, I did orange quilting. And one other thing is that I used this little two and a half by two and a half for cutting them. And that center line, you'll see in the photos that I'm gonna share, um, that center line really helped a lot to make everything centered just right. And if you look at your um, pop rollers on the orange square, the four and a half by four and a half, there's also a little guide for your flying, or not flying geese, sorry, for your uh, traditional blocks, the pinwheel blocks. And it has that center guide too. Too. So this will work really well um, for cutting out your fabrics as well when, when we're centering it and clipping the dog ears and doing all of that. Um, so those all work really well. So all I've done so far is the large pinwheels. I'm going to start on the small pinwheels also. Um, those have a little bit different cut sizes and a little bit smaller, um, but we'll go over all of that. But anyway, just wanted to give some tips that I found extremely helpful. So let me know what works for you.